Hello everyone, my name is Wendy. In this video, we will look at a quick and easy method to crop an image into a text in GIMP with layer clipping mask and using the composite mode in layer groups. I'll be using Windows and GIMP 2.10.22, which is the latest version of GIMP at the time this video was created. I downloaded this image from pixabay.com. If you'd like to follow along, I'll leave a link in the description below. So let's get started. Come up to the file menu and start a new project. For this video, I'll leave all the default settings I had set up for this YouTube thumbnail, which was 1280 by 720. Open the advanced options. I'll leave all the default settings for this video. In fill width, select transparency, then click OK. Now we have the canvas size set up. Let's add the image. Come up to the file menu and select open as layer and then the image will open as a new layer in the layer panel. Navigate to the file where your image is, then click on open. If you look over at the layers panel, you will see the image is in the layer stack. I'm going to configure the layers panel so it will be easier to view in the video. To do this, I'll go to the configuration tab menu and in preview size, I'll set it to enormous. Then I'll expand the panel. I'm sure that's going to be easier now to see. This image is 1920 by 768. It's longer than the actual canvas. The yellow dotted line represents the image size. Come up to the toolbox and grab the Move tool and position the image. Make sure the image is still covering all the boundaries of the canvas. When you're happy with the position, come back over to the Layers panel Right click and from the menu, select Layer to Image Size. This will resize the image to the size of the canvas. Now we're going to create a copy of this image. So right click on the layer and select Duplicate from the menu. Then double click on the title to change the name. I'll just type in Beach Group as this will be the image I insert into the layer group. Now we can create some text. Come over to the Toolbox and select the Text tool. Come over to the Finds dialog on the right hand side. I will drag the dialog onto the canvas. However, if you can't see the dialog, go up to the Windows menu, Dockable Dialogs and select Fonts. We'll come back to the dialog in a minute. Come over to the Settings panel and in the Font Size, we'll set it to a size of 80 and just go from there. Make sure anti-aliasing is checked. This will create smooth edges and curves. Click on the color box and select black or just copy the HTML notation and then click OK. In Justify, select Centered and in Indentation, Line Spacing and Letter Spacing, keep everything at zero and in Box, keep the default dynamic mode. Now we're going to type out some text and then change the font. Click on the canvas near the edge so the letters will have room to spread across the image. Four boxes will appear. This is where your text will be created inside a dynamic box. Above is a semi-transparent menu. We will use this later on to change the font size. Now with the caps on or in capital letters, type crop image into text. I'll just copy and paste from my clipboard. Now we can scroll through the fonts dialog, but first we have to activate the tool. So click inside the text box boundaries. Now come over to the dialog and you can select a font. I'm using a Barlow condensed heavy font. This is a great font for displaying bold messages. If you don't have this font, then select another condensed heavy font. Now I'm finished with the text dialog. I'm going to click hold and drag the title and anchor it again onto the tab menu. Come over to the layers panel. GIMP automatically created a new layer for the text and the title is Crop Image into Text. We're going to change the title. So double click on the title and type in Clipping Mask. Now come back over to the text on the canvas. To be able to use the menu on the canvas, you first have to select all the text. So to do this, place the mouse pointer inside the box boundaries. You can double click to select a word, 
triple click to select the row or click and hold the mouse pointer over all the text. And of course you can press Ctrl A on the keyboard and that will select all the text in the box. Now with all the text selected, come up to the top menu and click on the top arrow in the font size. Bring the font value up to 140, well depending on the font you're using. I want my font to stretch right to the opposite side of the image. Now come up to the toolbox and grab the move tool. This will disactivate the text tool and we'll be able to position the text. Make sure the mouse pointer is positioned on a letter or the mouse pointer will detect the layer below and move that instead. Come over to the layers panel and select the transparent layer. Double click on the title and we'll change the name. Just type in white background. Now we have to change the position in the stack. Click hold and drag it above the beach image. We're going to create a white rectangular box to go behind the text. So come up now to the toolbox and select the rectangle select tool. Drop down to the tool settings and options. In mode, make sure the first button is pressed. Make sure anti-aliasing is checked. This will keep the smooth edges. Come over to the canvas and drag out a rectangle around the text. The selected area is displayed by moving black and white dots. Actually they're called moving ends. So everything inside the selected boundaries will be edited. You can modify the sides by placing the mouse pointer inside the selected boundary and dragging on the sides. When you are happy with the size and the position, press the enter key on the keyboard. Now all we need to do is fill in the selection. So come over to the color selector. Right click on the top box, which is for the foreground color. And just copy the HTML notation for white. Then click OK. Now come up to the toolbox and grab the bucket full tool. Then click inside the boundaries of the selection. If you come over to the layers panel, you will see the rectangle has been created. However, as this layer is below the other layers in the stack, it is not visible, but that's okay for now. The selection is still active, and before we can continue, we have to disactivate the selection. I'll just grab the Move tool, and now I'm going to come up to the Select menu, and select None. Now we can start to create the Layers group. Come over to the panel, and click on the Create a New Layer group button. It's below the panel. A new layer is created with a folder icon. Double click on the title. I'll type in a name of text group. Now let's add the clipping mask and the image into the folder. To do this, click hold and drag the beach group layer onto the group folder. When you hover over the layer, it will highlight around the sides. Release the mouse and the image is inserted into the group folder and the folder icon thumbnail will display the image that had just been inserted. Now let's add the clipping mask layer. Before we move on, let's have a little look at the structure of the group. The layers are more indented than the other layers on the stack, and are displayed in a tree-like way. You can open and close the folder by clicking on the plus and minus button situated beside the group thumbnail. You can delete the folder with all the content by first selecting the layer and hitting the delete button below the panel. I'll hit Ctrl Z to undo that. Okay, the position of the layers in the group is important or this won't work. The clipping layer, which is the text layer, has to be below the other layer. I need to change the order of the layers, so I will click hold and drag the image of the beach above the clipping layer mask. Now select the image of the beach. Right click and from the top menu, under Edit Layer Attributes, select Composite Mode and choose Intersection. You could also do this by double clicking with the left mouse button on the thumbnail of the image layer and the Edit Layer Attributes dialog will appear. You can keep all the default settings except for the composite mode. Select Intersection. Then click OK. 
and now you can see the effect of the text. You can finish here, or you can change the text. First, select the text layer, then grab the text tool, and click inside the text boundaries, and just type whatever you want. And when you're finished, come back up to the toolbox and select the Move tool to disactivate the text tool. You can also move the text in the white background. To do this, first click on the Beach Group eye icon so the image is not visible. Then select the text and click on the small button beside the eye icon. It is a chain link. Now select the white background layer and click on the chain icon. And now these two layers are joined together and will move together. Place the mouse pointer on one of the letters and click hold and drag the text. Now to see the result, come back over to the layers panel and click on the eye icon for the image. Let's try another position. When you're happy with the position, click on the beach group icon to make the image visible again and click on the chain links to unlink them. Just one more thing to do. As I've been moving the rectangular layer around, I can see it's over the canvas. So I'll right click on the layer and from the menu, I'll select layer to image size. Now you can export your image. Go up to the file menu and select export as and you can export as a JPEG or a PNG. We'll wrap up here. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy.